Hey guys, so I just wanted to take some time today to do a little flip of my Giglio Firenze Pocket Mia Cara in the undyed leather. So I'm currently using this planner as my everyday carry. Um, if you're not familiar with the undyed leather, it marks up really easily and it darkens um, and it's pretty sensitive. So this is currently what mine looks like. I'm the third owner of this, so I'm not exactly sure how long it's been around and I don't exactly know how other owners kind of treated it, whether they babied it or just tossed it around. Um, it does have like two pretty deep scratches on the back, but I pretty much like, I don't use a planner cover with this. I just toss it in my purse. Um, and I've really been liking the fact that I'm not babying it. I do have other undyeds, which I'm a lot more careful with, but because I got this one pre-loved, I'm not really like that with this one. And I like that. Um, so let's just get into it. So this is what mine looks like when you open it up. Um, in the flat pocket here, I have just a uh, piece of art with some sticky notes on the back. And then I made a little pocket out of some extra sterling ink vellum that I had. And I have two of her freebies, some holiday stickers and some month stickers in there. So that's really all that I carry in here, like sticker wise, I don't carry a ton of stickers. I'm not the type of person who really like plans on the go. Like I'll write stuff down on a to-do list, but I'm not gonna like pull out my stickers and sit down. And also cause it's COVID. Perhaps if I was in school and like going to the library and stuff and having like big study days, I would wanna carry more in terms of stickers and planning supplies, but that's just not the case right now. In the back pocket, I don't have anything except for some cardstock. I do prefer a stiffer leather, so I will put cardstock in the back of a bunch of my planners. And then this is just a like journaling card. So the cool thing about the Mia Cara, if you're not familiar, is that the Mia Cara model has an outer and interior binder. So this is the outer cover and the interior binder. So I really do like this because there have been a couple times where I've been like trying to stuff a bunch of stuff in my purse and I'll literally just take the rings out of this cover and it slims the profile down so much. You can add a planner band to this to keep it closed, but I do like that there is that option. And then your back cover just slides in here. So that's how that works. On the front here, I just have a cloth and paper Ollie Clip collaboration. Ollie clip and then um, this planner card is from Point Hun and then I put a little bit of that leftover vellum on top. I'm really into that vellum right now from Sterling Inc. Um, in this inner, in the um, inner binder, when you open it up, you get three card slots and then one like larger pocket. So on this, in the top card slot, I do have a thicker clear card back here, which I use for cutting washi, drawing straight lines, just a variety of things as a ruler, essentially. I have an if found card, a reminder card, a little decorative like note to self card from cloth and paper. This so very loved card is from Salty22. I put some, um, and then some two different types of sterling ink vellum. And this I believe is from Opal and Fern, those little florals. This, I'm not exactly sure where I got this from. It's a little needle minder that people who are, I believe, cross-stitching, it's what they use. Um, for example, here's another one. They're magnetic. They're essentially magnetic enamel pins. So you put the magnet in inside the pocket and then you put this outside the pocket and it snaps together and it will sit, oh, it'll sit on your planner. I don't find that it, um, leaves like too much of a mark or anything like that. So I do really like these. It's just another way to add a little bit of deco into your planner. So moving on to the, actually before we get into the rings, let's just talk quickly about charms so that when I do the flip, I'm not stopping all the time. So this charm down here is from Exo Carolyn Designs. And then this one over here is one of my all time favorites. It's from, Ro not Rose Color Days, uh, Paper Dove Shop. She like makes these by hand they're like embroidered this one is also from exo carolyn designs what else is there this one back here with the little crown 
in the gem. That one is from the planner spot. And then these little tabs right here are from Midori. They're called index tabs. So those are all the tabs. My dash, my dividers here are from cloth and paper. And I think that's pretty much everything so we can get into the flip. So at the front here, I always keep a clear fly leaf just to protect these pages. This um, vellum is from Poi and Hun. And I have it layered over top of this like watercolor abstract art. This was some art I got off of Pinterest. It was like a, a set of them. Um, I'll see if I can find the link and link it down below for you guys. But it's, it's a common theme running throughout this planner is this art with these colors. And then these little line florals are from uh, Arlen Collection on Instagram. And then I just stuck a happy planner quote on the back from the Wild Styled sticker book. I have another one of those clear acetates and I just have an adhesive pen loop on here to hold my pen. I'm currently using the Sarasa Vintage Grand from Zebra with, oh, I can't remember the refill that I'm currently using. Um, oh, I think I actually wrote it back here for this reason. So it currently has a Sarasa Dry 0.4 refill in there. So yeah. And the reason that I use the adhesive pen loop is this planner doesn't come with a pen loop like on the edge. It comes with this pen sleeve, but I don't like the way that that works. So I've always just used an adhesive pen loop in here. This inbox dashboard is from EO Edits. I really like it. It's got a tab and then I just have some cloth and paper sticky notes on there. And then this is from Point Hunt. It was a freebie. This uh, digital paper back here is from you and I Graphics. And then I have my inbox, which is an insert from Peanuts Planner Co. I have it labeled urgent later and then done. So whenever I think of something that I have to do, I will either, I'll label it whether it's urgent or later and then go back and cross it off whenever I've finished it. Here I just have a shopping list. This is from SM Plans. It's one of my favorite inserts, super easy. I just add to it. So like, even though like when I went to Shopper's Drug where I needed to get tea and hand soap, I'll just draw a line and then the next time I go to Shopper's Drug I'll write down the things I need to get not to be wasteful it just it really works i've had it in my everyday carry for a pretty long time um and then this is a piece of acetate that i stuck two adhesive pockets to one on the front and one on the back um in the front of this one there's the clear card with the white ink that says love blush strong worthy and enough and then behind it i have a canon iv like photo of my puppy rosie she's an english bulldog i love her and then on the back here, I have an Oakland Fern sticker. And then um, this is a quote from the Amanda Gorman speech at the inauguration from SM Plans. It's a little freebie card and it just says not broken, simply unfinished. I have another one of those acetates and I stuck some cloth and paper gray circle sticky notes. And then um, that's a piece of art from Oakland Fern. And then, um, this is the Sterling Ink Raindrop Vellum. Not exactly sure where these florals are from. I'll take a look in my files and link it down below if I can find it. And then this vellum is from the planner spot. This is the monthly freebie from Paper Test Designs. I love it. I don't know if you can tell, but I did go ahead and print it on some linen paper. And I, I love using linen paper in my planner. It just adds a bit of variety of texture and I've been really enjoying it since on the ad I've been doing a lot more recently. And then this is that same leafy digital paper with some sticky notes on the back. And then um, we go into my calendar tab. This, I believe this is from Softly She Plans. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a freebie maybe in a Facebook group or I'm not sure. Again, I'll link it down below, but it's one of my favorite Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou quotes. On the back is a tool and twine planner card. It just says gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. And then I have my paper chest designs nearly overview. I'm just using Sweet Caress little raindrop, uh, teardrop stickers to mark off the months as they pass. Here's similar art with those same colors from earlier and then a little floral line art. 
here is my future log. So I just write down upcoming events, appointments, birthdays, things that I need to remember because this planner, I didn't know, but this planner does only have 60 millimeter rings. So I can't keep an entire year of monthlies in here at one time. So this is just an easy way for me to reference what's going on in the future without having 12 monthly inserts in here at once. So, And then I do have my monthly uh, section cover. All of my section covers are from UNI Graphics layered on top of that art from Pinterest with some florals. This was a freebie from Poi and Han, the little embroidered thing. I love this thing so much. She currently has um, the, the same, it's like a rose, but it's with gray thread on her Etsy. And then she also has a moon right now with this same pink thread. I bought it. <laughs> They're so nice. And then it says like paper dump shop on the back and it actually comes with like, you know when you buy a luxury handbag and you get a dust bag or even with planners you get a dust bag the little charm has its own dust bag it's just the cutest i love it um so this is my monthly i'm currently using this list insert from simple and trendy co you just have numbers 1 through 31 they represent each of the days in the month for me and then i use a horizontal monthly from peanuts planner co so the way that i use this is I, in pocket size, in any size, I really enjoy to have a visual look at my calendar with like this type of calendar. I really need it to be able to map out the weeks. Like if I just use this as my calendar, I'd be like, okay, but what day of the week is the 11th? And I wouldn't be able to visualize it in my head. But using these two inserts together works perfectly. Because for example, on um, the 17th, I worked, but I didn't have room to like put in my hours. So over here on the 17th, this is work from four to 12. So it just gives me a little bit of room to elaborate. And then also these little dots here represent my color coding system for online classes for university. So like there's a dot here, but then if you go to the six, it's okay. It's like, okay, here, this is my so 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 <laughs> 360 final assignment that's due on that day. But I just, I don't have a ton of room in here. So this allows me to elaborate what I can see in the visual. And then this is my May monthly. May starts on Saturday. So I already prepped that not too long ago. And then this is a dashboard for my minimal, my minimal planner. It's one of my favorites, it's so cute. I layered it on top of that raindrop vellum again from Sterling Ink, very into that right now. And then I have it on top of some of those leaves that I've also been using throughout the planner. Section cover again, you and I graphics with a My Minimal Planner dashboard on the back. These inserts that I'm currently using are from Puff and Pages Co. I'll go ahead and link them down below. I've been absolutely loving them. Um, it's been giving me just enough space, so Last summer, I used an insert from Simple and Trendy Co. And I fell in love with having the little calendar on my weekly view. I love it being there. Um, so I was, it was happy to find an insert that had that in pocket size. That still worked for me. And then you also get room for three priorities. And then every day of the week, you get room, you get a blank space, and then one, two, three, four, five, five spaces to write to do's. The blank space is perfect for like big events, things you want to remember, things that are going to take all day, things like payday, just things that are happening that day that aren't necessarily things you have to do. And then you still have room for your little to-do list. So the insert's been perfect. It's been working really well for me. And I've been using it for the past three weeks. And then this is this current week. I do have a tab here. This is what I use as my bookmark. It's just a piece of acetate with a Midori MD tab on there. And I very much like this method of using the bookmark because I didn't want a bookmark that had anything printed on it so that it would obscure my look, like my view at my full week at one time. And then I also needed a tab that would give me easy access. So when my planner is closed, I can really easily thumb for that tab and open straight to my week. That was a big thing for me as well. So this is the best of both worlds for me. And then I always have a sticky note the following week to write down anything that pops up. And then this is my finances section. I do have that um, clip right here that will take me to my finances section in the little tab. 
I have like the dashboard and a couple of vellums layered, but I've uh, clipped them all together so that when I grab the tab, it takes me straight to the first finance insert. So this is what I'm using to track my finances. Essentially here, I'll write the amount of money that I spend each day. And then over here, I'll write like a snippet as to what it was on. So sometimes I have a bunch of little transactions and I'll just pick like the two most costly ones, or sometimes I have just one big transaction. So for example, on the first of the month, I did a Staples curbside pickup order and it was $57 and I just wrote Staples curbside pickup. Whenever it's a no spend day, I put one of these little clear transparent dots and then I'll highlight the day with a Tombow marker. So it's just an easy way to track daily spending. I do a lot more finance stuff in my extension planner, but I do either, I do it every day I get paid. So um, twice a month. And then I also visit it on the beginning of each month and plan out like my budget and stuff like that. But those aren't things that I need with me on the go or things that I'm necessarily looking at every day. So in my finance, in my extension planner, there tends to be things that I only have to look at once or twice a week or even a couple of times a month. Um, whereas my everyday carry are things that I'm interacting with multiple times a week, like three to four times, if not daily. So that's kind of how I separate between the two. And then this film is from the planner spot and this dashboard is from my minimal paper my minimal planner sorry and then I have a savings insert from Simple and Trendy Co. I'm just tracking my general savings and my year for tuition those are just two things that I'm saving up for right now and then I have my online orders tracker and then this last section here I have a um, little information symbol on the top of this dashboard on the top of this divider and this is a vellum from Simple and no from Sterling Inc. And then I have my important section cover with one of those tabs. So let me just take you here. So this right here, I just, I don't want to show you. <laughs> um, this right here is a little calendar insert. And essentially I will, this is where I keep track of my weight. So on um, whatever day I'm weighing myself, I'll just write the weight in here. And that's how I keep track of it. And then this insert here, this these are both from Peanuts Planner Co. And then on this insert here, this is where I am um, tracking workouts. So I'll do like the activity and then the amount of time. And then um, I've also decided that I wanna include the calories. So here I've drawn two lines. So I'll put the activity, the amount of time and then the amount of calories burned. And this just lets me look at how well I'm doing with workouts, how much I'm keeping up with it. It also can give me a lot of data on like which days do I tend to work out more instead of others. So, and I can track it, you know. So there's that information. I have a health log, it's just a sheet of paper. I will just write down things that are happening, what I'm feeling, and then whether or not I'm taking like medicine. I track all that stuff so that I can, like if I've had headaches three days out of the week or like, 15 days out of a month, maybe that's a sign that I should go and talk to my doctor about it. But those are things that are really easy to forget when you're not writing them down. So it is something that I keep track of. I have this dashboard from Modern and Minimal Co. And then this came on some type of order. I love the art. I stuck it there and I have no idea where that's from. And then on the back, I just have a sheet of notepad paper. Here is my tracker. This is from Peanuts. Nope, this is from Simple and Trendy Co. I've tried tracking in the past with daily habits and stuff like that. It hasn't really gone well. It's hit and miss right now. Um, normally, I keep up with habits, keep up with tracking habits the best when it's integrated into my weekly spread. But I love this weekly and a habit tracker isn't necessity for me. So I decided like, okay, I'm going to try out the like individual monthly tracker again. And it's going okay. I'm ready though to start May because I started this on the 15th, I could never go back and fill it all out. So I'm excited to start fresh and see how much I can keep up with it. <clears throat> and then back here, I have another one of those um, acetate with a card, card holder, an adhesive sticky pocket. Um, this is a piece of art from Opal and Fern with some of that sterling ink vellum with a planner spot planner card on the back. 
And then I have my list section. This is from Maria Plans, I believe. She has some beautiful planner dashboards on her account for free and for sale. She also just opened her, her new shop, which I'm very happy for her about. And then this is some vellum from the planner spot. Here, this is a custom insert from Simple and Trendy Co. It's just a gift list. This is where I can plan out what I'm gonna get people. If I have like two or three ideas, I'll write them down in here with the price of the store. And then when it's time to make that purchase, I'll decide on one. Um, but this just allows me to really plan out gifts. I do have a home inventory insert, which I'm excited to set up because I am definitely guilty of being one that likes to buy backups of items, but when I buy backups, I don't exactly know how many backups I already have. So this will help me keep track of, it'll help me keep track of this. And then I do have a makeup reference insert in case I'm out and I'm like, oh, I need new concealer. Well, there's my color. And then I have a couple just wish lists and then a note section with just some note paper. And then this is my makeshift page lifter. I did actually have an actual page lifter in here, but I loved this art so much that I made it into a page lifter so that I could have it in here. And then this is, um, so this notebook that I have tucked in here is a moleskin, I believe, pocket notebook in the gray color. And I just tossed it in here not too long ago. I always have a sticky note here where I write down my memories. So I do like to memory plan in my Hobonichi, but I don't get to it every day. Um, and sometimes I do it like on Sundays and do the whole week at once. So I do like to write down a um, memory for each day so that when I go back on Sunday, I can remember all the little things that I wanted to talk about in my memory keeper from like seven days before. Um, and this just allows me to keep track of it. And it's on a sticky note because I don't need to keep any of the, the information because it's migrating into here. So it's nice because I don't have to take up any more room on the rings. They're already quite stuffed. Um, so that's how I do that. I have a Snow Leopard Ollie clip. And then this, I'm essentially using it to house like lists or dailies. Um, there's no room for dailies on here. I probably won't need dailies. I'm in the middle of I just started my summer vacation. I'm a university student and I use dailies all the time when I'm in school to keep track of assignments and stuff. But when I'm out of school and on vacation, my days are a lot less rigid, a lot calmer, and then I rarely need a daily. But this blank notebook, I can essentially do whatever I want in here and can use it for dailies if I need to. I just have an index because um, if I do plan on using dailies, they're gonna get plopped in between all of the other important information. So yeah, for example, on page one and two, page one, I have some routines I want to implement and then page two, some places to declutter. But if tomorrow I decide I want to add in a daily and the next day I do and the next day I do, and then on page seven, I start another important list that I want to remember. I'll just put the page and write down whatever list that was. So that's that notebook. In the back here, I have a, this was from Opal and Fern. This actually came with this beautiful tote bag that I bought from her. She just released her tote bags. I'm very happy for her. She's, <clears throat> sorry, my voice just cracked. Um, she's like a small artist. She's a university student and she lives not too far from me. And I've been supporting her shop since I found out about it. So anyway, this like little tag came on it and I just thought it was the most beautiful art for like spring. It's so pretty and I'm not normally a floral person, but as soon as I saw it, I cut it down and plopped it in my planner. And then this is from Planning with Aloe. She also just released her own Etsy store. Extremely happy for her. I'll leave it down below if you guys are interested in in it. This is from Tool and Twine. And then this is just a business card from Open Fern. Again, I love the art. So that is my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip. Um, it was a chatty one, so I got to explain how I kind of use some of the inserts, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. If you have a moment, please take a second to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!